So people get into real estate and they think that they can easily go and make six figures, 100 grand, 200 grand, 300 grand a year. You know, you absolutely can do that, but you're not going to do that just by being on autopilot. You can't just get your license and then tell everybody you're a real estate agent and just expect to make that kind of money. You have to do the hard things, the hard things, meaning take buyers out when they're not approved. Why? Because they want to see a home, add value to them. Once you get in front of them, have a buyer consultation, get to know them, help help them build a plan to achieve home ownership or achieve buying an investment property that meets their formula. Um, you know, but you're not going to do that by just disqualifying them and saying, oh, you're not approved. I'm not taking you out. So, you know, get, get outside that old mindset and adapt the new mindset, which is how do I add value to people? How can I help them achieve what they're looking to do? And sometimes it means that you may have to do extra work. You may have to do things that you don't want to do, but you know what? That's not what it's about it's not about what's easiest for you it's about what's best for the client so get out there add value to people and that's how you're going to make that six figures secondly you want to get out there and you want to make sure that you're doing the hard things okay it you know prospecting um marketing bringing in new leads calling the new leads i cannot stress this enough calling the new leads okay you need to call people make contact understand their uh, situations and then see how you can um, provide solutions to whatever their uh, issues are in addition to that once you make that initial contact do the follow-ups a lot of these people are not ready to buy the second you make contact with them they need nurturing you got to get their credit repaired you need to get them approved you need to wait for their relocation time frame to happen but it's up to you to make those fo follow-up phone calls to stay in touch with these people and nurture that relationship stay top of mind continuously add value and give them data and information so that when they are ready, they have a relationship with you. You have been a source of, of valuable information to them. And now they want to use you because they trust you because you've helped educate them on the market. You've provided them answers to their questions. And now when it's time to go out and actually make a purchase, you're going to be their go-to person. So call the new leads, do your follow-ups, nurture those relationships, and understand it's not an instant get-rich-quick scheme, that it takes um, work and effort uh, to add value and build these relationships. So I hope that helps. Um, if we can be of any assistance at any time, give us a call.